Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're going to embark on a project that involves my trailer that I built out of a boat trailer. And uh, the story is me and a friend of mine, Wayne, who is here stripping stuff, say hi to the YouTube there, Wayne. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> And uh, me and him are kind of down on our luck and trying to do everything we can to make a little bit of money. So we uh, gathered all this stuff up to uh, take to the scrap yard, you know, washer and dryers. And um, we got stainless steel and aluminum here. We got metal here and you know just sheet metal and stuff like that and a bunch of computer stuff that's back here in the back i think i've already showed you guys and a bunch of batteries i think i got three batteries that can go but anyway um, we ran into a problem doing that we had to uh, decide how we was going to haul it and we don't have no sideboards on the trailer so we have to put sideboards on the trailer before we can actually use it to haul this metal because we certainly do not want to be going down the road and then you know, i got the sun in you guys eyes hold on there uh we don't need any mishaps something falling off the trailer going down the road so for safety reasons we're going to go ahead and put sideboards on this now what I've decided to do is exactly the same thing I did to the garden trailer. And I went and got these boards yesterday and we had to set them here because they were wet overnight and let them dry like a sawmill would stack them. And they're a little drier today than they were yesterday. So we're going to use these and we're going to make sideboards exactly like we did that. So. We're going to go ahead and get our stuff together here and get started uh, cutting boards and measuring and stuff, and we'll be back. Alright guys, we've got the back part of this done, and we had to cut the fender wells out, and basically I'm just going to take some maybe tread aluminum or something I've got laying around here and just make a panel to go over that and screw it in with about five or six screws and be done with it uh, on the back side here we're going to take some of these that were cut wrong <laughs> i won't tell who cut them wrong I don't know who that was. Uh, and we're going to put it on the other side of this and then we're going to put another one right here so that we can slide a tailgate down in it that way i don't have to take my ramps off so we'll use these same boards for the tailgate also so now what we've done is made it so that we can tie onto it just like that right there and then we'll continue on out here to the corner and then we'll put another one of these right here and then another one over here on this side so we're not going to waste y'all's time doing the job we'll just show you as we're going anyway stay tuned all right guys it's uh been a day or so since we finished this trailer and um we was kind of in a hurry to uh, get this done so we could get to the scrap yard and get this uh, scrap taken in and it's a good thing that we didn't do any more video and afterwards because uh, we got there just in time they were closing the gate as we was getting there and I didn't fancy taking and wasting all that gas to go there just to turn around and come back so we ended up uh, finishing the trailer uh, box and and uh, we figured we'd just show you the finished product and how I did it. <clears throat> so this is the finished product and it kind of looks like a coffin 
Let's uh, get you a far out look here. There's the trailer. This has been a long time coming getting sideboards on it. Now I just uh, hope that a lawnmower will fit <laughs> on it. Uh, it's a small trailer, but we just uh, brought it to the, brought one board from there all the way forward to here. And then we had to finish it off to the corner. And then we went from there on up to the front and around. Um, we really didn't need to go down to the frame and there was a problem for putting it down to the frame. Uh, these here, I did that one, but as you can see, there's a gap between this side by about a quarter inch to three eighths. And we're going to have to shim that and then put a bolt through here and that will hold the sides from moving back and forth. And uh, I'm going to have to shim this side, but the other side's right up against it. So this is the only thing left to do, that and treating the boards. Uh, I, I didn't feel that it was necessary to go all the way down here. So I didn't do it uh, because it's such a short span that it was not that big a deal. And uh, we're planning, or I'm planning on putting some kind of a toolbox up front here with some kind of lid that comes down that lifts up right here. Um, I'd like to have a toolbox on here and this space up here is so small that it, it ain't gonna hurt it to go ahead and put a toolbox in here. Uh, so, then we took tread aluminum that I had laying around here and did the corners there which I need to clean up and make it look nice. Um, then, uh, once we got the fender wells done, we just put a, the scrap boards that was left there and here. And then we did a tailgate. And the tailgate I've cut some handles in it so it just slides up out of this hole and I'll show you what how it works. You just take and uh, slide that up out of there just like so. And I don't have to take my ramps off. So now the only thing I got to do, like I said, is uh, treat it. And then I've got some marker lights coming for it to put marker lights on it. And we're probably going to put, um, I don't know where we're going to put them, but we're going to put marker lights down the side of it. Probably one right here somewhere and one right here somewhere. Um, so, there you have the look of my homemade trailer with sideboards on it. Um, I changed my chains and put them up there. I'm going to have to get another bolt that matches this one because I, I didn't have one long enough to put the chains on it. So, I had longer ones, but I had them back here, but then this came out so far, the thickness of that chain, that when you go to turn your jack to put it in its home position, it was hitting this right here, or here, before it would turn far enough to put this back in its place. So, I ended up taking it off of this bolt and putting it up here, and I just got to get a longer bolt. But there you have it. It looks like a coffin. <laughs> uh, I thought about painting it black and putting some fancy handles on the side of it to make it look like a coffin. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just let them bury me in it.
Anyway, uh, right now I'm waiting on uh, the guy who bought my uh, rotor and drum lead a couple of years ago. He called me or emailed me, wanted me to turn something for him. So uh, we're waiting on him to bring a Mustang 7.5 ring gear. He wants to take six pounds of weight off of it. I don't know if he's going to get no six pounds of weight off of it, but we're going to try to, I told him bring it and we'll look at it and see what we can do. Uh, I've never turned a ring gear and he's going to bring me an old one to practice on and then uh, the one that he wants me to do that to. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Do it. I made you go ahead and do a video on that, so, whew, man, it's cold, man, 32 degrees out here this morning, uh, or at least that's what my phone said, let's see what the uh, thermometer says, I think that the two differ every time, so they're never the same, yep, we're at about 30, 33 degrees. So, anyway, um, I hope this shows you guys a, a way to put sideboards on a trailer when you ain't got a whole lot of stuff to work with to put it, put it on. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.